<coughs> Could the sound of a cough uploaded via the internet from a cell phone indicate whether the subject has COVID? What about a sustained vocalization? Uh... According to a team of researchers led by UC San Diego music and computer science professor Shlomo Dubnov, those sounds can carry telltale evidence of COVID-19 infection. By analyzing the sounds in intricate detail using machine learning and artificial intelligence, Dubnov's team was able to detect micro patterns, audio fingerprints, to tell healthy versus COVID patients apart based strictly on vocal sounds. I know we're kind of uh, hopeful that some of this will be useful for developing actual applications. Dubnov is the senior author of a paper in the February 2021 issue of a Springer Nature Journal on computer science. The topic, robust detection of COVID-19 in cough sounds. He collaborated on the project with Lebanese American University professor Pauline Muawad and Dubnov's own son, Tammuz, a UC San Diego Jacobs School of Engineering alumnus who received the MS degree in 2020. In fact, the project originated with the younger Dubnov's master's thesis in the Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Department. He focused on analyzing signals and classifying audio samples from individuals diagnosed with COVID-19. Tammuz set out to write about artificial intelligence and audio, but had changed course when the pandemic hit. So that was kind of the genesis of it, that I was already doing a lot of work in deep learning and I was already doing a lot of machine learning before that. Uh, so what can we use this? How can we use this maybe to diagnose something? Shlomo Dubnov's research touched on machine learning and audio as well, but for different applications. I haven't been working on um, um, neurological or uh, you know, health related sounds. Uh, I've been working on voice, on musical instrument, but also on, on uh, singing and, and spoken voice. We're talking pretty much about sound texture. Uh, it's kind of the little details of sound, the repetition of small sound elements. The professor has developed a raft of methods for parsing sounds in minute detail. We kind of had these techniques, uh, I would say, uh, as part of our research toolkit. So it was sort of uh, a leap of faith to see if we can actually discriminate between COVID and non-COVID. Using a database of self-submitted audio samples from the Carnegie Mellon University-led Coronavirus Detect project, the Dubnovs joined forces to analyze thousands of samples from healthy subjects, as well as a smaller number from subjects with COVID. Uh... So we extract a, a lot of information from these sounds and part of the thing is really tuning to the fine-grained information because what we're looking at are uh, more of the artifacts or little deviations in, in the sound. As reported in their paper, the researchers showed the robustness of their method in detecting COVID-19 and cough sounds with an overall mean accuracy of 97%. With samples of the sustained vowel sound, ah, the accuracy was 99%. Writing in the paper, the team noted that the robust results of their model have the potential to substantially aid in the early detection of the disease on the onset of seemingly harmless coughs. I wouldn't rely on an AI to diagnose or not diagnose. Uh, we're hoping more to position it like a, an early warning system for doctors. Indeed, Professor Dubnov, a longtime participant in the Qualcomm Institute at UC San Diego, insists that the model is not intended for independently diagnosing COVID-19. One disclaimer is that um, even though we tested this on diagnostics and the classification was, you know, the final kind of outcome uh, of the paper, um, we are not planning really to pursue diagnostic techniques. In addition, Dubnov thinks the model could be a non-invasive way to do community health surveillance, for example, by analyzing vocal sounds from microphone arrays in public spaces. 
The researchers also foresee applications to other diseases, not just COVID. According to the literature, there are audio signatures associated with a broad array of medical conditions, ranging from asthma and COPD to bronchitis, tuberculosis, even congestive heart failure. We have a whole list of diseases like that uh, that it could be beneficial for. Uh, so that's kind of the, let's say, the commercial opportunity here. Through a startup called Zuzor, founded by the younger Dubnov in 2015, the Dubnovs are waiting to hear this spring whether NSF will award them a small business innovation research grant to take their research to the next level. If they get it, the C grant would allow them to aggregate much larger data sets of subjects with many different diseases. In our research, we kind of saw that there's diseases that have a huge impact on many, many lives. So if we can help with even a little bit with that, that could have really big implications. The data would then allow them to train machine learning models to do much deeper feature extraction that could make it possible to differentiate cough sounds across many different diseases, even long after the current pandemic recedes.